But here we go, guys. In the next round of the French Clash Cup playoffs, we've got J.O. versus Unicorns of Love. And J.O. are in with the first attack of the match, coming in with the Super Witches. All right, all right, all right. Early blimp from the 2 o'clock angle with the Rage Spell. Gonna land, get the Eagle down, get the Royal Champion down, pull the Clan Castle troops as well. Okay, I can dig it. Queen charge starting from the right side of the base. We have to invest that freeze for the headhunters because Queen was not targeting them early enough. It's a little unfortunate. Then we'll be able to use the poison to help her kill the pups. All right. Looks like he's going to try to charge his way into the multi-targeting Inferno attack. Wait, no, it's Super Witches. What am I saying? He's going to send all the Super Witches into the multi. He didn't have to use the freeze then. He could have just dropped the Warden with the Queen and Warden would have sniped those headhunters earlier. Interesting decision to use the freeze. But oh well. King to make the funnel on the bottom side. Ice Golem and Super Witches into the multi-targeting chamber. Do we have a headhunter? We do to help kill that king. Very nicely done. Wall breaker down here just to make sure everybody's going in. In fact, that was oh, that was our only wall breaker. Is that what he wanted the wall breaker to do? I'm not even sure. I guess he's just gonna jump. Probably gonna give him access to everything. Yeah, the jump spell gives him access to everything. Rage spell up. We still got the Warden ability. Still got King ability. We find the Tornado Trap. Tesla farm in the core. He doesn't have a Siege Barracks, so this is a little weird. Nothing to get all these trash buildings at 6 o'clock. I guess he was expecting King to go down, but he didn't. One Super Witch, two Super Witches went up. And they're just going to end up beating on a wall here. We got one Super Witch and the King making sure that Town Hall goes down. A second Jump Spell to give us access to the back end of the base. We still have the Royal Champion to deploy. We're going to drop her at 6 with our only cleanup minion. A minute and 15 on the clock. Queen's getting hit real hard by that scatter shot on the left side of the base, but she doesn't like it. She has so low on HP. Hello, double skeleton trap. Queen dies through her ability from some splash damage from the scatter shot while I was shooting the king. RC still has her ability, and we got one freeze. Is that going to be enough to get through this? I doubt it. RC's going to pop her ability and hopefully force these big boys up, except I think they're going to go down for the gold storage. Oof. Holding on to that ability. There goes the ability. The big boys do go up to help the RC. And we have that freeze. Warden and Super Witches are working on the cleanup on the bottom side of the base. 36 seconds to go. Healers switch over to the Royal Champion. Dude, no way. If this attack triples because of that healer swap. He drops the freeze on the scatter. Healers getting healed back up. He's got big boys doing cleanup on the left side. 20 seconds to go. It's going to be a time fail, dude. Or is it? RC can grab the last two defenses. The scatter's low. 13 seconds to go. Oh, if only he had like one wizard to help with cleanup. Why didn't he have any cleanup? She gets the storage. 94%. 95. 96. And we run out of time at 96%. Oh. Man, if he had brought a couple cleanup wizards, this base would have been wrecked. Nice try to Messi. But not enough to get it done in the first attack. If you want to get notified every time I upload a video, make sure you hit that like button and turn on the notifications right next to the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below to help with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for all the support. Here we go. Unicorns of Love with their first attack of the match. Coming in with the Inferno Baby Dragon Spam. It's been so popular lately amongst a lot of pro teams. Let's see if Unicorns of Love can get it done here on Burax base. <coughs> E dragon at 8 o'clock. He won't wake up the town hall with that because the town hall is two plus tiles away from everything else. Inferno Baby's coming in from the southwest. King and Queen over at 5 o'clock. All right, all right, all right. Early as heck, Warden ability. Got the blimp in there as well. CC troops are coming out. We got archers, headhunters, super minions in that CC. E dragon finds a Tesla. King and Queen working their way down the right side of the base. Rage spell to make sure that town hall goes down. It drops really quickly. Headhunters died early. We got rid of most of the Teslas already on the entry. Getting through that first scattershot compartment here. Dropping skeleton spells to distract. We still got like five of them. He needs to start dropping a lot more. Come on, use your skellies. Use your skellies to distract, man. Why is he trying to save all these skellies? There he goes, dropping one in the core. The Inferno Babies are starting to split up. King and Queen are still at full health, working their way around the right side of the base. They're going to be able to get a ton of value over there. Dropping a bunch of skellies now to distract. Finds a tornado behind the clan castle, but it doesn't matter. Sends the RC to help get the scatter and keep his king and queen alive forever. 
I like that. The main threat we got to worry about now is that single target Inferno Tower on the back end of the base. That's really the only thing that could stop him at this point. He still has King ability, Queen ability, RC ability, and they're all at full health. It's looking beautiful as long as we can get through that single. Drop all the skellies to distract it, probably. Yep, he does. The last two skellies right in that compartment. We still got one, two Inferno babies alive with the Warden on air. We get through that King. Can they get through the Inferno Tower? No, they go down for the Expo, but that might work out well for us. RC pops her ability. She's going to get through the single, and this is so crushed. He can swag the Queen ability. Does not need it whatsoever. She didn't take any damage that entire attack. Queen at full health with ability. What an amazing attack. From Unicorns of Love, getting a triple here to start off the match for them. And they're going to have a slight advantage here by a star after the first round of attacks. Flow with the second attack for J.O. They need a triple here. They want to start catching back up. They're coming in with another Super Witch attack this time with five Lightnings and one Earthquake. Let's see where he starts. Let's see where he's going to start. Dropping the Warden at 5 o'clock. Probably going to zap the Inferno Tower at 4.30. And send the Super Witches into the Town Hall. Yep, it looks like that's exactly what he's doing. Splits up the Zaps nicely there. Can use the Earthquake to damage several buildings. Baby Dragon Help Funnel. Finds a Tesla. Okay, we're going to send in two Loons to try and get that down. Finds another Tesla. Down goes the first Tesla. Warden can get the other one and hopefully the Air Defense before we start with the Super Witches. Looks like that's the plan. How's he going to funnel the left side? I guess with some of these Sneaky Goblins. That's really all he needs to do. Here come the Super Witches. Queen down as well. Two Sneakies on each storage. Should be able to knock those down. Wants the King to walk up. And he does. Wizard for the air defense. Alright, alright, alright. Sneakies almost woke up the Town Hall. Oh, the third one does. Town Hall's awake. Headhunter's coming out of the CC. Might have to use an ability early because of this. Eh, nope, Queen's okay. King's gonna go inside at the 9 o'clock compartment because the Siege Barracks helped to force him in. Lava Hound pops. Queen and Super Witches can take all of those out. Eagle and Giga Inferno are hitting these Super Witches pretty hard. Does he need to pop Warden ability or are we okay? I think we're okay, dude. Those Super Witches just don't die, period. King's gonna go down, but he killed the enemy Queen. We jump through the core. Still hanging on to that Warden ability. Siege Barracks made a nice funnel. He's got Valkyries in his Siege Barracks. Okay, okay, okay. Rage spell to get everybody moving closer and closer to the core. Finally, just now popping that Warden ability as we make our way into the core. So as a second jump, the Royal Champion and a Freeze to deploy. He's going to use the Royal Champion with an Ice Golem over here on the right side of the base. He's going to go fight that Scattershot. There goes the second jump on the top side. Royal Champion also finds a couple of Teslas up top. All of our Siege Barracks troops died on the left side. We're going to freeze up the Scatter and the Cannon, trying to keep this Royal Champion alive as long as possible. We're going to have to pop her ability here in a second when the Scatter Shot wakes up. Boom, there goes the ability. Down goes the Scatter. Down go the Teslas. Down goes the Cannon. He's got a couple of Archers for cleanup at 3 o'clock. Queen doesn't have her ability. She's getting hit hard by that multi. Need the healers to try and keep her alive if they can. Is, are any of the healers on her? Tornado Trap pops. Queen goes down. Nobody's fighting the multi and we're losing healers fast. We've only got one healer left. As soon as I say that, we got zero healers left. Two witches on the left side. Two witches on the top side. We might still get this. It's a matter of time, I think. Did he bring enough cleanup? This is two attacks from J off now with the super witches, and they're just failing to bring cleanup troops. I don't know why they don't want to bring cleanup troops. It's going to be another time fail? Maybe? Does he have this? It's going to be close. The minion and the archers, I don't know if they have enough time over here. Super Witches, all four Super Witches still alive. But why don't they just bring like one wizard or something to help the cleanup? The minion gets that and it's going to be a 99% time fail. Oh, rip J.O., dude. Bring one wizard. And he could have had another triple. Rip, the time fails might end up costing them big time later. Sahara with the next attack. For Unicorns of Love. Dapping the core away. Okay. Like he got a scatter shot. And a sweeper in the core. Sending witches from 3 o'clock. Witches from 12 o'clock. Oh man, he's going with the risky log launcher across the bay strategy. King and queen with the log launcher. Super giants and witches all across the base. Alright, here we go. He's got six freezes to try and keep all these witches alive. Is it going to work? The early warden ability. Going to get him through the bomb tower. He actually sends king on the top side to go take out that multi. Queen with a log launcher, super giants and witches coming in. 
He's trying to push them all down this bottom side and into the town hall chamber. Log launch is going to wake or destroy all these walls and wake up the town hall, I think, with this last log. Does it wake up the town hall? Yes, it does. Town hall's awake. King Pops' ability can grab the multi on the top side. We pull the Lava Hound out of the CC. Yeti's in our log launcher. Tesla farm on the bottom side of the base. He's going to start freezing up the town hall. We got tons of freezes to use. He might have to use a Royal Champion down south as well to help with this Tesla farm and keep some of these witches alive. Royal Champion. He does indeed use her. He's going to continue to freeze that town hall as long as it takes until we get it down. Then we're going to finish on this single target Inferno Tower chamber. Warden's still alive. Queen's still alive. We finally get through all those pups. Uh, Royal Champion still has her ability. We've got one more freeze. He's going to try to hold on to that and use it to get through the single. going to pop this RC ability in a little bit. I think it's going to work out for him, though. We still got Queen ability. There goes the RC ability. Can freeze a single, and there's nothing left. A minute to go. He's got the Queen, the Warden, at least one, two, three. I count 69 witches alive on the bottom side of the base. Going to clear through the top side. A couple of skellies get the platform in the middle. And that's a clan class triple. And Unicorns of Love are going to be two for two. While Jayoff, unfortunately, have two time fails. They had two really good plans, just failing to bring the cleanup troops that they need to get it done in time. And it's going to be a six star to four star lead for Unicorns of Love after the second round of attacks. Here we go, Fluxy with the next attack for J.O. They got to start tripling. They want to get back into this match. They're coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo with an early blimp for the Town Hall. Here we go. It gets there. We're going to try not to rage. What troops does he have in there? Can he get that town hall down? And sneaky goblins do indeed get it. Nicely done right there. Then they hit a bunch of springs. CC troops have not been pulled. Town hall's down. He didn't have to use any spells for that, which is nice. Tons of sneaky goblins on the top side to help with funneling. He's going to try to wall break into the single target in front of tower chamber, and he does successfully. Coco Loon out in front. A second one in as well. Rage up that queen. He's trying to get through that single without having to use a freeze. I think he still has to use the freeze. He does indeed. Pops a Tornado Trap with a Coco Loon. That's nice, so we don't have to worry about that later. King to funnel the top side, and thanks to the Sneaky Goblin, we can try to get our King into that scatter. Kim is knocking over my light, sir. My cat is destroying my studio lights. Rage spell on our Queen. Wall break to the core. She gets through the Queen and the King. Nicely done. King pops his ability. Gonna get the scatter shot. Poison, the CC troops, that's a lot of damage. Had to pop the queen ability. Super minions and headhunters are just insane on defense. Rage up that queen again. Trying our best to keep her alive here. The king was not able to get the scatter. So we're going to send the royal champion to finish off the job and start the Lalo from the 2 o'clock side of the base while everything's going on. So many moving parts. Queen gets the scatter in the core. She gets the Teslas. She's hanging on to life by a thread. So close to dying. But we're just barely able to keep her alive. Beautifully done here. From Fluxy. Can she get through that expo and Tesla without dying? The sweeper's being heckin' annoying. Oh, it's so close. The sweeper gets one more shot off. Tesla doesn't kill the queen. She's going to stay alive. Wow, that was close. But now the single's going to kill her probably eventually anyway. Pop that warden ability. We still have the royal champion alive helping with the Lalo. We still have her ability. We still have a rage, a freeze, and a haste. I think this is smashed. A couple of extra loons to send for the archer tower on the left side of the base. 50 seconds to go. RC ability clears almost all the defenses. And he's going to have two swag spells. Fluxy. Beautiful. Queen charge Lalo. And just like that, is he going to be able to get J.O. back into this match? They need a defense. They need two defenses, actually, if they want to have a chance. Let's see if the rest of their bases have a chance to hold up against Unicorns of Love. Toto with the third attack for Unicorns of Love. Coming in with, oh gosh, another one of these super witch, not super witch, super giant witch attacks. Lightnings for the scatter. Okay, okay, okay. Clear that compartment. There we go. Does he switch to a log launcher? Yes, he does. Log launcher coming in. All the super giants from the top right side of the base. Witch is in behind. Log launcher to go straight through the core. Hopefully, at some point. CC troops are coming out. Tons of goblins, a headhunter, some super minions. Queen in the middle. Where does he send the king? King down the right side, probably, to grab the scatter. That's what I would do. The warden's going down south. He's not staying in the middle. 
That's a little unfortunate. He hasn't dropped his king yet. He's gonna use the RC early. Ooh, this is a risky bisky, dude. Oh, the king's in the core. I missed that. Witches on the top side are getting hit hard by that wizard tower. Almost lost a couple of witches. Royal champion early to grab the scatter. He's relying heavily on the king and queen to get this town hall, but I think they will. So that's gonna work out. He's gonna use this warden ability here in a second, or he's waiting, being very patient with this warden ability. He gets the king, gets the queen, and the royal champion. <coughs> Inside that warden ability. Beautifully done. Finds a tornado trap. Now we can start freezing up the town hall. We still have a invisibility spell that he can use on this royal champion if he wanted to. To help keep her alive a lot longer. She pops her ability on the south side. Gets the cannon. Gets the air defense. She's going to continue making her way to the left. Four cleanup witches on the bottom side. Royal champion making her way to the core to help out with the king and the queen. We can use freezes and invisibilities to help her get through the single. Make her invisible. Make her invisible. Yes, she can get the single. Oh! beautifully done from Toto. She gets distracted by Skellies. No! RC, get it, get it, get it. One more shot. Yes! Down goes the single. A minute and 15 on the clock. We still got Queen at full health with ability and a freeze in the bag. Bruh. What is this attack? The super giant witch's attack with a log launcher from Unicorns of Love. They are just loving that attack today and it is working out well for them. Three attacks in. Three triples on the board. Unicorns of Love with a dominating lead now after the third round of attacks. Lelantos is in with the next attack for Jeo. Coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo again. They realized the Super Witches they kept time failing with, so they've been switching to Queen Charge Lalo. Their last attack went very well with the Queen Charge Lalo. Let's see if they can do it again. On Chichin's base here. Going to try to send the King into the Town Hall. Drops the Queen at 11 to push him in. And it looks like we're going to try to Queen Charge the multi-targeting Inferno Tower Chamber at 10.30. King does indeed go into the Town Hall. It's going to be a little tricky to see if he actually gets the Town Hall down because there's a tornado there and he might end up pulling these CC troops here in a second. We're going to have to pop his ability very soon. We're going to rage up that Queen. She does go in. If she pulls the CC troops, that would be great because then the King can easily get the Town Hall. And she does. Only two goblins go to the King. We pop that King ability. Giga Inferno's awake. Healers are getting hit hard. We have to pop that queen ability. That's a lot of damage. He didn't drop the poison, even though there's headhunters on the queen for some reason. Another rage spell. He still isn't dropping the poison. There goes the poison. Better late than never, but my goodness, that was late. Queen struggling to get through this multi. Finally gets through it. The warden tower on defense is doing a ton of damage. We're going to have to invest a freeze right there. Need the king to die so the healers switch back to the queen. Please, king, just die. King, die. Oh, this is messy. Got to freeze again, dude. Maybe, maybe not. Headhunter got smacked. RC from 9 o'clock. Queen is still somehow alive. We wall break both scattershot compartments. It's going to be interesting to see which one Queen goes into. Road Champion on the south side. Eagle Artillery is awake and hitting the Queen. Road Champion finds some Teslas. Queen's going to go into the lower one. Which means she might not get that core scatter. We might need to send the Stone Slammer there. But he already sent the Stone Slammer from 3 o'clock. Here comes the Lalo from the top side. Can the Queen get the scatter shot? She's very low on HP and she's going to die. Rip. And we don't have Royal Champion alive for healers to swap. And he already sent the Stone Slammer. Oh no, Lelantos. Two multis that he has to lolo through. Already got through the first one. Icehound pops and freezes the Eagle. We're going to have to pop this Warden ability. We're going to have to freeze and haste just to get through the core scatter. But there's probably going to be a million red bombs there. And he didn't use any spells. That's a complete waste of five loons sending to the core. Headhunters and the Warden ability are going to be able to get through the Queen. We got loons finally trying to make their way into the core with the Warden ability. But there's more traps. Eagle Artillery is going to wake up and absolutely smack them all. Oof. You got to keep that queen alive if you want the queen charge Lalo to work. This one's not going to work out for Lelantos. And Unicorns of Love looking strong in this match now with three defenses. I dare say they basically got it in the bag, but we're going to see how the rest of it goes. Maybe, maybe J.O. have a godly base that gets a one-star defense here later on. He's getting the spinny wheel. Got mad and threw his phone out the window. And now he might be losing connection. There we go. We're back in. Minions trying their best to get a couple more percentage points here. Getting down a couple of storages and a clan castle on the top side of the base. Warden's still alive. Trying to snipe the enemy king. But I don't think he's going to be successful in the amount of time given. Eagle wakes up and shoots minions. And as time ticks down, it looks like we're going to be finishing around the 81% mark here for Lelantos. Nice try. On this one but just not enough to get it done 
Unicorns in love with their fourth attack. They are perfect so far. And now they're coming in with an early blimp for the town hall, but it didn't make it. Uh-oh. Do you have sneaky goblins? He better have a ton of sneaky goblins here. Pull some traps. Here come the sneakies. <gasps> oh, they got wrecked. He just swagged a blimp. And he's coming in with Queen Charge, Inferno Dragons? What? Yo, unicorns of love are just trying to have fun now. They think they got this match in the bag, but uh-oh. That blimp was heckin' baited. Rage spell for the queen. We have to send the road champion to get the town hall. Which means we're not going to have the road champion for the back end. Hello, Tesla farm and enemy queen. Have to pop our queen ability now because of that. Tons of Teslas over here. Road champion with her ability will get through the town hall. Queen's going to go up and hopefully into the scattershot chamber. We already got down all five Teslas, which is nice. Road champion cleared that compartment, but she's going to die to the king. Gets absolutely wrecked by him. Does our queen go into the scattershot chamber? The rage spell was off. Queen's got to fight the CC troops without being in the rage. Although the healers are raged up. But still. It's going to take her quite a bit of time to get through this lava dog. At least four and a half days. Down goes the lava hound. We send a minion to help with the pups. Rage her up again. That's already like three rages we've had to use on the queen. We still have a skeleton spell to help with these baby dragons. A minute and 20 left on the clock. We're going to send King from 11 to walk down and into the Eagle Chamber, maybe, if he goes in there. Inferno Babies from 1 o'clock. Queen does indeed get the scatter, which is nice. We got another wall break to try and get her all the way to the core. My cat is going crazy again. Hey! Trying to fight the window. Wall Breaker. Why does it target that wall instead of the core? That was interesting. Freeze the core. Queen's not going to have access to it, though, unless she beats through a wall. We still have the Warden ability. A Rage. And a skeleton spell. Okay. Warden's helping the Inferno Baby snipe all these buildings in the core. King already used his ability. He's going to die to a cannon here. One skeleton spell used to distract the scatter. But it's not even distracting the scatter. Rip. Basically a swag skeleton spell. We're going to freeze the scatter. No more spells on the board. How does it still get this close, dude? He swagged a blimp. Don't tell me this is a triple. Is it going to be a time fail? I think it is a time fail. Wow. Interesting attack, dude. The early blimp that basically got zero value, so an RC for the town hall, into a queen charge, inferno baby attack, and oh my gosh, look how close this got. It's just a massive time fail for unicorns of love. 93, 94, 97, 98? 98%? He still had five inferno babies alive. Warden and the queen. Wow. Nice turnaround for unicorns of love there, and the 90. 8% time fail. How about that? Let's check out that what happened to the blimp real quick. Real quick, what happened to that blimp? He sent one balloon, sends a blimp. Hello, tornado trap. And then he just doesn't pop it, so it gets pushed back and then it dies naturally right next to the wall. Should have just popped it when it was right on top of the town hall. Who knows? Nice try though. And here we go, the last round of attacks are in. Let's quickly check out what JR are using, but we're going to go watch Unicorns of Love's attack. They're coming in with another Super Witch attack. Hopefully they don't time fail that one. We'll see. And Watto is in with the last attack for Unicorns of Love, coming in with a Drag Bat. Alright, he used an early Lightning and an Earthquake on the multi. He's going to RC Trick it. There goes the ability. Boom. Even gets the Sweeper in the core. Perfect pathing right there for the RC Shield. We, I mean Queen. RC is going to die to the King now. He's going to absolutely smack her down. Baby Dragon to funnel the bottom side here. All right, all right, all right. Then what? And which side is he going to send the dragons from? Hard to tell. You want to go into the scatter shots? Yes, he does. He's going to funnel with the super barb, but the super barb got zero value. I still don't understand why people use super barbs to funnel. Feels like a waste to me. He didn't even get the cannon. Dragon to get the wizard tower, and then we are going to send all the dragons in. From this 430 side, King to walk to the right, help make even more of a funnel here. Nice. Balloons, dragons, warden on air. Here we go. Still got eight more dragons to deploy. There they go. Eagle artillery wakes up. King and queen together to walk on the right side of the base. He wants them to go into that little chamber where the builder hut is. But queen might walk the wrong way. 
Hey, yes, indeed, she is. Super minions and headhunters in the CC. That headhunter is going to go over there and absolutely beat down our enemy, our king. Rage and ward ability. Blimp to go all the way across the map for the town hall. It doesn't get there. Or is there a tornado trap? No tornado trap. It makes it. Do we rage up? No, but we freeze. He's got an inferno baby. Oh my gosh, why didn't he rage? Yo, the town hall stays up! Unicorns of love. Oh no. Bats from the bottom side of the base. We got three freezes for them. Is this going to be a one star? It is. <laughs> Freezes the left side Inferno. Sends an ice golem. Yo, they're about to one star. Does that mean J.O. have a chance if they triple? All the bats die. He freezes the town hall. It's going to be low percent as well. Uh-oh. 67... 69, he's probably gonna get like 69% TE. I think if J.O. triple, they can win this. They had nothing but time fails earlier. No way. Can J.O. triple their last attack to win the war? <gasps> 45 seconds. Hogs coming out on the left side. Royal Champion to support. Jump spell through the bottom. Oh, are they gonna time fail again with the Super Witches, dude? Only 30 seconds on the clock. Use your abilities, please. Just use the King ability. At least he's got cleanup wizards this time. He needs to kill that cannon, though. Everybody's skipping the cannon. Drops a loon for it. Thank goodness. 25 seconds. Please, pop the king ability. Please, what are you waiting for? Why is he not popping this king ability, dude? Oh, where are his spotters? Come on. Pop the king ability. Dang it. Pops the RC ability. Can she go kill the single in time? He's got a freeze. 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 King. 97. He's got a wizard. Freeze something. 98. 99. Tell me he gets it. 3, 2, 1... The triple? Is it enough to win the war? It's going to be 13 to 13. No way. Wait, it's only 12? Oh. <laughs> Lex can't count, dude. Oh, he saved the two star. That's why. How did he save the two? Yo, he saved the two star to win the match. How? Unicorns of love are going to be winning it. 13 to 12, 93.8% to 95.2. If he didn't save that two star, it would have been a victory for J.O. Yo, now we have to see how he saved that two star. What the heck? I thought for sure that was a one. Let's watch that again. Oh my gosh, that was a cool ending though. Woo! Got all hyped up after we thought it was over early. Dragons coming in. I thought for sure the warden must have sniped the town hall. Here goes the warden ability. Blimp did not get the town hall, but the town hall was low. Look, the town hall's on one HP. That's important to note. The town hall is super low, so I bet the warden just sniped it right before he died. Let's see. <clears throat> Queen dies. Dragons die. Warden comes over. Gets one shot off. Gets another. Oh! That was this close, this close to Unicorns of Love losing the war. The Warden sniped the Town Hall right before he died. Holy crap. That war was a lot closer than you think. And Wado just barely able to save the two star to save his team. And Unicorns of Love are winning the match here in the playoffs and moving on to the semi finals of the French Clash Cup.